the grand final. Some fantastic speedway tonight, and it's a great start for Janowski off the inside gate. Look at Lindgren! Here comes Lindgren again in the dirt! Oh, he just got a superb piece of dirt there to pull clear. He's going where nobody else is going, and it's fast for Lindgren. Could he be set for another Grand Prix win here? Janowski second, Madsen third, and Laguta is at the back, but look at Lindgren go, Kel! Brilliant move from Freddy, just like the semi-final. Railed round in the dirt, it's not over because Janowski's coming on strong in second place. Madsen's there as well, Madsen on the inside, into second place. Superb effort from the Danish rider once again, but Lindgren's out in front, got just over a lap to go, can he hang on? Well, Madsen's really working hard here, but Lindgren is hitting the track at just the right spot. It's got he, it nice. He's he can got hardly it. walk, he can hardly walk, but he can ride a speedway bike, and it's a Swedish winner in Melilla! Fast, Freddy Lindgren is a true hero tonight! Wow! Firstly, for lifting the wheel and throwing the bike into the air fence to avoid Patrick Dudek on the deck, and now winning the Scandinavian Grand Prix. Hats off to Fast, Freddy Lindgren! Hancock, gate two, will he do it? Here we go, we'll try again here at Miller. And Doyle's made a beauty of one. Jason Doyle has got there in the first turn. Pavlitsky's going to try to cut up the inside. Holder's still in the mix, the wheel to wheel down the back straight. It's Jason Doyle who has the lead here. Hancock is going to try the outside run. Doyle's got to be careful because Hancock has got plenty of speed here. Going into lap two and I'm not sure the inside run is the right way to go. Well, it's working at the moment, but there's no doubt that Hancock is giving it absolutely everything right round the outside, but the track has gone fairly slick. Doyle is just about hanging on there, but look at Hancock. Hancock on the outside. Down the back straight, he's neck and neck. Doyle just about hanging on. Doyle moves out. Hancock now switches back to the inside of him. Yes, Hancock's there. He's going to win. What a move from the old man. He's going to have a 12-point lead in the title race, and he's done it the hard way. The 46-year-old from the USA, Greg Herbie Hancock! Oh, what a day it is for Greg Hancock. Finally wins the Grand Prix in Sweden. Can't believe it. A remarkable man. He is a remarkable man, and it's a fabulous victory. You know, it's a fairy tale. It's a super story that he finally wins in Sweden. He's adopted home with his Swedish family. Final here. Hampel's on his way through. Hold a superb. Here Whoa. goes Pedersen up the inside. Oh! Green press coming through the last corner. Hampel wins the race. Hold a second. Pedersen dives up the inside. Zagar in sixth. Oh, it's all kicking off there. Zegar furious with Nicky Pedersen. Yeah. Pedersen not impressed by Zegar's response. It's all kicking off. Huge drama here in Melilla. Well, Zegar made his point. I'm down in the pits area now. I'm quite sure that uh, one or two words are going to be said. And intention and emotions down in the pits area. A little discussion here now. Don't tell me and it's still very, very tense. Krista Gardell trying to uh, get involved there to separate them. And uh, Zegar quite clearly fuming here, down in the pits area. Nicky, bit of a wind-up merchant, egging him on almost. Big smile on Nicky's well, face. Well, Zegar's incensed, and quite clearly what Pedersen was saying to him just fired him up even more. Find him. It's um. Uh, he just said find him. Yeah, well, it says find him. Uh, could well be in for a fine. We're blashing out. Away from the start of going, Janowski's made a beauty off gate number three, but so has Lind back off the inside. Now Smarslik coming through in yellow, and it's a 1-2 for the Swedes at the moment, but Smarslik's coming on strong. Can you believe this from the outside gate? Antonio Lindback has the lead, and now Lindgren coming through again. They're all bunched up. Which way is this going to go? Smarslik now riding hard. Lindback's got to be careful. Smarslik comes on strong. Oh! Second place, but not for much longer. Lindgren now through in the second place. Smarslik neck and neck down the back straight. Lind back in front. Oh my goodness, this is going to get tight. Yes, going into the last lap we are. Is it going to be a Swedish winner or will Smarslik pick the pocket of Antonio Lindback? Here we go. Here we go with one big oh. slope around the outside. Lindback staying on the inside run and Smarslik's oh, done it. Smarslik's done it. Oh. oh my goodness gracious me!
Smarslik stuns and silences the Swedes with a stunning move around the outside. Oh, the track is certainly lightening up now. The racing is getting better and better as Dunek does the outside run again down the back straight into the road. Well, well, well. Let's hope the boys are going to be okay here, because that was a big one. Freddie Lindgren trying desperately to get out of the way. Let's have a look at this. Is that too hard? Is that too hard for Mikkel Mickelson? I'll tell you what, Freddie Lindgren. Oh, frick. Wow. Nasty crash. I'll tell you what, that is a minor miracle that they've all got up. I'll tell you, Mikkel Mickelson's hard on Dudek there. He is wow. very hard on him. Wow. Bikes and bodies everywhere. What a spectacular crash. And, uh, Max Frick is still being attended to. I think he's holding his wrist, Max Frick. This is a big decision for the referee. It here. is now, yeah. yeah. Because Mikkel Mickelson moves over there. Just there. And basically leaves him with nowhere to go. See, I'm not quite sure which way the ref's going to go there. But I, I don't oh. like that move there. It just gives him a nudge there when he's, he's alongside him. He knows he's there, he must have had an idea he's there. Freddie Lingwin picks the front wheel up. No. Well, Dudek is exclu excluded, we're told. I can't see an exclusion light, but that's just information that is being fed through to me right now. But I'll tell you what, that could have been such an even worse outcome. Uh, we hope that Max Rick's going to be OK. He still sat down, getting medical attention. Um, uh, holding his wrist, and uh, well, it was a dreadful, dreadful crash. And now, uh, let's hear from the most spectacular stuntman in Sweden. Evil can evil. No, it's not. It's Freddie Lindgren, and he is with Kiri. Well, amazing reactions for you. How did you react so quickly? How did it play out for you? Yeah, I saw Dude came down and uh, was uh, was in a really awkward position. We don't have any brakes on our bikes, and. Uh, it was just instinct, really. I tried to avoid him as much as I could, try to lift my bike up and hit him as, as little as possible. All right, Freddie, glad you're OK. Yeah, thank you. And that's what exactly, a hero. And that's exactly what he achieved. You know, it was a split-second decision he had to make. And uh, great to see, uh, great to get the reaction, of course, because it was quite an incredible moment for him.